Is there anything more beautiful in this world than an HDMI bi-directional switch? I think not. Okay, we're all a little, little bi here, okay? We got this switch here, got these cables. We're going to talk about a real-life trolley problem with El Gato. Um, let's see what's happening here. But first of all, you want to stream, right? You want to be the PewDiePie, streaming your games doing all the fun stuff with your console okay got it so you got yourself a cheap Elgato one of these like HD 60 S's uh, some dude gave it to you for like 20 bucks because he gave up on his dreams perfect okay great score for you so problem and this happened to me um, you get the setup it goes into your PS4 it has an output that goes into your TV and then it also outputs video to your PC for OBS. Uh, problem is, if you want any signal to go to your TV at all, you're gonna have to have this PC connected. And that's a big problem, you know. If your PC is far away, or you don't have to launch software just so you can use your own console when you're not streaming. So, it's a huge pain. So, what do you gotta do here? Okay, first, we're gonna get some switches so these bi-directional switches as the name implies they go both ways okay got this one got these two and this little button here that you click and it switches between one and two so gonna set them up have ourselves a little trolley solution like this here okay so we got the PS4 we have the switch and if the button isn't pressed it goes to one and that bypasses the Elgato capture card, goes right into the other switch, and then goes to the TV. Then when you're in a stream, you want to stream, you gotta do number two. You hit the button in, it goes right to the capture card, and you hit the other button on the other one, goes to the other switch, goes right to the TV, no issues, and you got your PC on. So, it's a little USB-C to USB-A cable that connects those, but yeah saves us some hassle and bypasses your other setup so you can live like a normal person let's take a look at what it's gonna look like here so got this uh, this video here let's take a look turn that down a little bit to nothing there we go we got our audio in if you need it your HDMI other HDMI and the USB-C so that's output the other sides input so Got all these cables together. These are kind of tiny cables, you know. Some six inches, some longer ones here, some footers over here. But it's all six inches. They they do the job, okay. Everyone says they do the job. Okay, USB cable right there. Gonna plug that into the side part here. Then gonna go grab this part, throw that uh, HDMI. It's gonna look a little bit funky towards the end of this here, okay? A little bit funky, so skip back here. That's me just shoving in. Just gotta shove it in, bros. Just gotta. Let's take a look. So that would be like your console right there, that cord right there. We're gonna plug that into the other end over here. Get the little button, it's a nice little mechanical E button. We like the mechanical E buttons over here, okay? We like them on this channel. Okay, one in the back, two in the front. Good. Okay, throw that in. Throw one of these little tiny cables in there. Get that in there nice and snug. And then we're gonna. This is a bypass one, so I want the numbers to match. So number one on that one, number one on that one, so they both match over here. It's um, it's a balancing act. Then get this other one over here. We're gonna plug that right into the. Um, yep, that's gonna be where it's gonna go into the TV. And we're gonna grab this uh, Elgato over here, and we're gonna plug that right in. Let's see. Okay, that's going just fine. And we're gonna plug this front one in right here just so it can go to the other half. Just wanted to show the whole process, just so you get like a little physical kind of view of this here. Shout out to VGA cables over there. We, we love our VGA cables here, okay? 
We love them. Okay, and that's the whole setup. It looks like a mess in person, but trust me, you know, it's a lot better than going back between stuff, unplugging stuff, and get kind of creative with this. Just buy a bunch of bi-directional switches. Let's take a look at them here. So, get them off uh, the Amazon. I'll include those links, but you can also just get cheaper ones off of eBay, like always. So, six bucks. We got our... Uh, six inch uh, fox cables over here now oh, just a nice pack of them they get the job done and if you're doing this on a ps4 just remember always turn off uh, HTCP um, otherwise it's gonna block stuff and it's gonna be a huge problem you're not gonna want that and um, also something something my wife's retron because just wanted to throw that in there it's my wife's Elgato Thank you.